Hello, this is Indigent Interman, and I'm playing a game of uh, Walk Hunt on Mindplex. And I'm a, I'm a chicken. So anyways, in this game, uh, you get to shoot them, and improve stuff. Boy, this lag there. Now I have a super axe. This is good. So yeah, you shoot. The more you shoot, the better your stuff gets. And there's always, of course, the risk of being found. You can meow and get gems and stuff. I don't have a lot of those. They always go right by me. It's hilarious. It's also fun when you're the person, but you know. To do it over there. Hmm. Where does the hunters go? Where's one? Not the world's greatest at shooting. I play on. It is called Oil Rebels. A lot of fun. And on here I'm an architect, so I'm gonna go do some. Probably gonna continue. So this is my house. This is a uh, somebody was gonna build a house, but they ended up making a co separate colony. So I have been slowly making it into a brewery, so I can make at all. Uh, I made a farm over here because I need to. Because I haven't hadn't made a really good one yet. Uh oh, is that a killer bunny? Yep. Yeah, so killer bunnies try and kill you. And since, luckily though, since I have a uh, a pet, because there's a pet mod on here, since I have a pet, I do not get killed very much. Because I have her set on a mode where if somebody attacks me, they, or something attacks me I should say, they get attacked back by her. Her name is Ionita, except for, that would be cute. Where she's a, she's an Endermite. Because Endermen are a little awkward to have as pets, and you can't have the Ender Dragon as a pet because it's lost and it would make a server lag. Unfortunately. 
Yeah, it's not a really big server, but I like the community, it's very nice. I am also a, a, a mod on here. Uh, you know, like a chat mod or something. They call them nobles. They have um, MC, MMO, and colonies, and of course my pet. And that's all that I can think of right now. Yeah, you know, slash set home. So that's very useful. Once I finish with this, I'm going to work on getting, well, I guess starting all over again to make it interesting. Because it's always fun. Let's see if I'm can the distance. Uh, I'm gonna wait until it finishes uh, raining and it's not that time anymore, though. So this is a really nice server. It has been a little slow right lately. That's mainly because um, we have to wait till 1.9 comes up before we can implement a few. Before it, there can be a few new things implemented in mod-wise. Mainly a, a war of some sort. Never been super into PvP, but you know. I will try. Okay, there we go. Where I will go, I don't know, but I will go somewhere. I'm not going to have my pet until after I get yes, a lift. I have a lift mod, I guess. That's fine, I forgot to. I forgot to say. I think I'm gonna go this way. Find somewhere to build and live. Oh hey, the pumpkins. Always use the pumpkins though. Poor ought to do it. Oh, I'm gonna go live over there in the in the, in the live past or in the spruce forest. I want to live too far away because, well, no, I want to live far enough away that I don't really see anything. People don't bother me, but I don't want to live so far away that I can't find anything. Oh, piece of candy. Sugar cane. That is. I think since in my survival series I'm gonna be living in a hotel set, I'm gonna make an actual house instead, so there's a little bit of inconsistency and variety, so that people will be more interested, maybe. I normally don't, I probably won't be recording multiplayer so much, because I don't have any, any anything set up so I can collaborate with people yet. Once I figure that out, I will be able to play more multiplayer, and it will be more interesting, because I won't be talking to myself the entire time. It's a little difficult to get found for you guys to respond. It's swimming, it's swimming, it's swimming. Anyway, this is all white bunnies. With little red eyes, you know, albino bunnies. With red eyes and stuff, and sometimes they have a very small chance that they will spawn. They are called, um, killer bunnies. And with full diamond armor on, they can kill you in two or three hits. Yeah, very, not very nice. So normally I don't take the risk and I kill them. Kill a, kill all by all by all albino bunnies as soon as possible because yeah, I'd rather not die. I think I'm gonna make my house over here in this little clearing because it's cute and it's surrounded by forest and there's water. Ooh, I can make a farm over here. Everything will be dandy and fun. Unless I die, that would suck. In just case. Yeah. I'll be able to come back here and live.
one's also a warp mod, but they made it so you can only have a certain amount of warps, namely two. Which is kind of frustrating, but you know, makes sense. I don't want you filling up everything with warps. Still, you have to, uh, I believe you have to donate to get more. But you get a lot more though. Once I get enough, yeah, I will. You have to really donate to have a donator rank, which enables you to change your name and have more warps. Fancy things like that. Not 100% sure what all of them are. Oh, I think also a trail. You can have a trail of random stuff following behind you. Like color. Colors. Random thing that, you know, aren't exactly necessary, but are a lot of fun. Yeah, so there are colonies. I am in the colony, in a colony called, that is called, <laughs> that is called DPRC. Short, I don't know why or how they came up with this name, but it was a short democratic People's Republic of Canada. Yes, yeah, so it's Canadian. You know, colors are red and white. It's a lot of fun, really. It's a somewhat communist sort of thing, so that pretty much those like communist so that you know, you don't starve or die or something. But you know, it's kind of like a you know, you take some things, you got to give some, put something back in. Once you are back on your feet, or you know, get get, get whatever it is you took. And uh, what? Is it of it? Dead leg. Glorious thought, maybe it is infuriating. There we go. Food. Glad you know, not starve. Not starving is good. A lot of sheep around. And for whatever reason, whenever you break some grass or something and you always get melon seeds. I don't know what mod or what that's for exactly, but it is the thing. No matter how annoying it is, it is the thing. I suppose it would be useful, but I'm not a melon person myself. <laughs> Just kidding. I like watermelons. For cantaloupe, though. But yeah, here is my house. It is small, but it's mine. Yeah, people are talking. I'm not, I normally don't talk when I'm in this kind of situation, you know, mode where you just have to finish, gotta, gotta make a house, survive the night, and make a better house, you know, stuff like that. Once I've gotten the bare bones of it down, I'll probably I'll make it look better. But right now, I just need to wait for shelter from creepers and stuff. Yeah, mainly just creepers and spiders, skeletons. Okay, maybe not just creepers. You know, just stuff that could attack and tip me. Well, even if I have a safe, you know, like a or something. Tower, spiders can climb up the tower, and depending on how high it is, creepers can blow up the tower. Yeah, so, um, this episode has been kind of a rambling on. And, um, Finish this all in another one. 
Thanks for watching. Goodbye.